Hey guys, welcome back to the Wood Metal Workshop. I'm Kent. Got another episode of garage sale, gold, auction, action, and a uh, little flea market finds for you. Kind of all mashed together. Uh, been a little while, been uh, been busy, haven't had a chance to uh, take a good look at the stuff that I got here. Auction was today, so I decided after I got the truck unloaded that I'd go ahead and do this. I'm going to move you around here and kind of zoom you in and show you what I picked up. I'm not going to go through every item. If there's you see something on the table you've got uh, questions about, toss it in the comments. Otherwise I'm just going to go over some of the highlights, some of the stuff that I found really cool. So you see I got a big mishmash of stuff here, uh, all kinds of stuff. Got some 8-inch grinding wheels. I do have an 8-inch grinder so I can actually use those. Uh, they're brand new, never been used. Cheap Chinese square. Picked it up at a garage sale. Uh, I think I actually 50 cents, uh, paid 50 cents for it, not a dollar, like it says on the sticker. I like to have these around for using with the plasma cutter. I prefer not to use my good ones when I'm plasma cutting stuff. And so this, kind of disposable. A uh, whole bunch of uh, pencils, sockets, uh, there's a good pile of, of t taps here, all USA made. Uh, let's see. Big one from the auction today, 24 inch Proto adjustable wrench. I've got uh, a 15 or an 18 and a 12 and of course every size down from that but didn't have a big one. Uh, there's a pile of files and rasps and stuff uh, from sales and uh, auctions. Uh, a couple of uh, threading pipe threading heads picked up at the auction, uh, a uh, made Nebraska vice grip chain wrench, well, let's see what else is cool in here, of course got some more hammers, a couple of blue points, and a couple of no names, um, of course the other day I was looking for some of these and I could not find any save my life, stopped at a uh, garage sale. Had a big bag, bag of them, two bucks. Uh, a, uh, a dowel hole center. So you set your centers and uh, adjust your which hole you want to use. A Weller soldering gun. A whole bunch of feeler gauges and I'm going to show you one other thing here that I think is really cool oh I got Eagle Oiler and another little oil can kind of like oil cans so don't ever mind uh, getting those here's something I've never seen before it's an Unger oh wait another uh, feeler gauge or spark plug gauge in its box thought that was kind of cool all right, here's something I've never seen before. Um, thought it was cool. It's made by a company called Unger, and it's a soldering iron. But it's kind of cool where they have different heat range tips that uh, unscrew, and they use a uh, light bulb style base. It works, I plugged it in, it heated up, so that one at least works. I got uh, some extra tips. These are all 800 to 850 degree tips. Some uh, soldering tips that screw into the pieces. And then <clears throat> this was with it. And it's a desoldering kit, which I thought was pretty cool. So if you're working on old radios or televisions or whatever, and you've got to pull a socket that's soldered in place, you put this tip on it, or whichever one matches your base, and it heats up all the pins at the same time so you can pull the comp component off the board. There's the three round ones, different sizes, and the straight bar. And then a couple more. Uh... Soldering iron has a chisel tip in it. This one's got a split tip. Screwed into it, a little bit of rust on it. And then one more new base. So I'd never seen this before. I thought it was pretty cool, so I decided I'd grab it.
And this, guys, is why it's cool to have a really cool wife. As most of you know, I'm building a uh, forge uh, to do some blacksmithing. And my wife picked me up this, this cool old coal bucket to use as an, on my ash dump to collect the ashes. So I thought that was pretty special of her. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple other things that she picked up for me as well. So my wife was at a sale the other day and <clears throat> saw these, immediately thought of me and thought of my storage needs in the shop. I like these style of drawers. She got a whole pile of these uh, drawers without the case. I'm missing a few in the case that I have, so I took a couple and they slid right in. So that's taken care of. Got that completely filled up. No drawers missing in there now. And I've got these card file cabinets that will hold nuts, bolts, whatever, and they'll be... Uh, put on a shelf here in the, in the shop here fairly soon. So, great having an awesome wife to, that uh, keeps her eyes open for stuff for me, not just her. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.